Welcome to my friend's edition of Holiday Decor. I recently got in the holiday spirit when I went to record around the Alleghenies at the Transformation Church. I thought this decor was the work of Kelly Ferguson, but then I found out it was actually Bethany Marshall. But Bethany and Kelly are friends. So here's Kelly Ferguson's home, and I love the way she does her matching decor. She does it like nobody else. <laughs> I just love the way she puts a room together. Here's the f home of my friend Brandy Wilkins. I love their Christmas tree and the tree box for it. Everything about the home I just love and you'll see these vignettes that are just beautiful. Brandy loves vintage decor and you can see it in her little vignettes that she has everywhere on the mantle and the buffet and um, just everywhere you look there's just these cute little vignettes of vintage treasures from Christmas. Little uh, sweet treats and everything you can imagine that just says fantasy Christmas. Here's another friend, Brandy, Brandy Collinborn. She is a furniture artist and she has a YouTube channel called Brushed by Brandy. You should definitely check her out her channel. And here are three trees of different three different years from her home. And I just love these mannequin dress mannequin Christmas trees. Uh, the far right is the most recent one this year. Next, my friend Angelina Mast. She has Angelina's paper crafts. Angelina loves pastels and she loves vintage decor. I, I love the tree and also her husband Don got her this beautiful cabinet and she has it in her home office and I just love the way it looks there, all decked out. Next is my friend Connie Holleran and this is two trees from her home. One is hers and one is her son's. Just beautiful Connie. Two friends trees are up next, Annette Quintilly on the left and Karen Sanders on the right. I love Annette's real natural tree and there's nothing like it. I love the poinsettia on the wall too. And Karen has this great lofty space and just has a gigantic beautiful tree to fill the space. Now I can't forget to include these beautiful trees from downtown and the one on the far left is the Heritage Plaza tree that was lit uh, at the parade on the second. Just beautiful. And then across the street at La Vintage Decor, the upside down Christmas tree. And then we have another tree. So we love our trees over at La Vintage Decor. Next up is my friend Teresa Albright. Every year I really enjoy looking at the pictures of the beautiful decor that she does in her home. I especially love this statue of Santa leaning over the baby Jesus. I love the tree and what a welcoming entrance. Next up is Teresa's sister and my friend Angie Yasolitis. I'm going to share a recent story that she posted. Once upon a time, there were three little white pumpkins. They were thrown outside by their owner because the season had changed and they were very sad. A little bluebird happened upon them and asked what was wrong. The pumpkins replied, we had a nice life in a warm home. There was laughter and we were the center of attention at a big feast, but then we were set aside and eventually thrown away. We landed here and I guess our life is over. The little bird felt bad because he can see so much purpose left in their lives. So he said, I'll be right back. Let me gather some things. Eventually he came back and told the little pumpkins, I found some branches that were discarded while the homeowners were making a wreath and a rose bloom that had fallen to the earth this spring. They are still so beautiful. Let me help you. And with that, he stacked the pumpkins, gave them arms from the branches and a beautiful hat from the rose. He even used the dirt to draw them a face so that they could smile once again. 
Then he brought them a piece of glass he found near the trash so that they could see their reflection. They all exclaimed, How wonderful together we make something beautiful for this season. The little bird flew away, promising to come back and check on them. The moral of the story, God gives us so many seasons, all different. Some we walk alone, some are made beautiful by the love of others, but life doesn't end as we leave one great season. Believe in your purpose, you always have one. And these are two beautiful dogs. My friend Diane Westover's dogs, Benji and Chloe. They're all ready for Christmas. Here's the home of my friend Jennifer Nisley. What a pretty tree and mantle. And the tree on the right, she actually got at our store and she just loves it. I have to admit, so do I. Next up is the home of Zeb and Jamie Ray of Jamie Ray Vintage. They have a YouTube channel that you'll definitely want to check out. I just love Jamie's style, that creamy white backdrop to all the beautiful vintage items. I can't believe they have kids with this gorgeous white home, <laughs> but it's so beautiful and I absolutely love the holiday decor. I'll be adding the link to Jamie Ray Vintage YouTube channel in my description box, as well as the link to Brush by Brandy. Do you remember my porch video in the summer? This was the lemon porch. It looks so cute during the day and really cute and cozy at night. No matter how cold it would be, I think I could cozy up on that porch by the tree. And this porch belongs to my friend L. Weaver. Last but certainly not least, is the tree of my friend Janet Trexler. She has a Charlie Brown Christmas tree and it's just perfect. It doesn't take a big elaborate tree to bring joy. I think this one does the job quite well. I want to wish all of my friends a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram we're levintagedecor and on Facebook we're levintagedecor Altoona. Stay well.